Today I'm going to be showing you wall bouncing and uh, some of the ways to use it effectively. Uh, to start off, if you're unfamiliar with wall bouncing, first thing you want to do is find out the distance that you can't wall bounce and the distance that you can. Find out that max distance of when you hit that A button or whatever you set it to your uh, button that it wall bounces when you want it to. So in tight quarters like this, there is a technique of going with your right camera angle, I mean your right joy pad, and just going back and forth and using the left, your left joystick, go up and a uh, up and down. Up, you always need it up when you start the transition, and whenever you move it back, you will cancel. So as soon as you start one, you are already moving the camera angle to your next mark. So the next way to use the wall bounce is to slide into a jump. So we'll do this, we'll slide, we'll cancel, we'll hold one at the same time we're hitting cancel, and then we'll go into the jump. Now does this speed it up? No. I mean, it speeds it up, it's not going to speed it up significantly. So the next method for the slide is transitioning through the map for two purposes, speed and to make yourself harder to hit. You're going to be basically going back three to nine. Now you want to, when you're going into corners and just running like this, it's fine to hit the walls. But you don't really want to hit the walls for two reasons. One, you're hurt. You want to be hurt as little as possible. And two, because it slows you down. As you can see, it takes time to come off that wall. But when I cancel, I can basically immediately go into my next direction. Next, we have the backward slide, which is more for when you you know, somebody just comes up on you or you just want to try to come off on them. They, they just fired. So now you can fire and make it hard to hit. And while they're trying to aim, now you can move. Now to do the backward slide, there is one thing to note. You need the object that you're sliding in your camera view. I try doing it now. I'm hitting back, same angle. Not working. Object in view. I can slide to it. So to do this motion, instead of going forward like we've been doing on the slide, we're actually going to go back and we're going to go to our destination. I don't really use that too much, but you can also go side to side, which is the right on the left analog and the left, an left analog. Now to cancel this, obviously you're doing the same thing. You go right, you cancel with left, you go left, you cancel with right. Now in spots like this, you can actually basically stay still if you want to break your joypad. I don't like, I don't really like this movement too much. <laughs> Although it actually is a slightly effective in close quarter combat. You just go back and forth and a little harder to hit. But yeah, um, when you got that spot where you can go like this, you just go left, right, left, right. Once you get Fortifications and also ammo! Make we need both! Sure, you keep your camera angle where you can basically see your wall. The left to right is, um, you can sometimes get it when you can't see it. It's a little bit less restrictive than. Next strategy for using the slide is to not hit the walls to minimize sound. When you hit the wall, uh, generally, almost a good majority of the time, your character will make a noise. And even if they don't, you're still getting that thump sound. And that can be heard by other players and gives away your position. But the cancel slide is so minimal. Even with the best headsets at close range, it's very hard to detect. Uh, so, moving through a map, you always want to walk or run for the most part is actually your best strategy of not being detected and then can't not do that or do that it's basically to cancel at the last second and then go into the run just like that 
doing it like that, you can move around the map and not be heard, which is great. And here's another spot just to show you real quickly with that 3 to 9 movement. Just to restate one key factor, and the most important key factor of the slide is to always position, if you're doing multiple slides, as you enter one slide, you are already moving the camera angle to your next target. So, I want to slide from here to there. Okay, so I am going here, and I already have my camera angle at my next target. So as you enter, you're already adjusting your camera angle to your next destination. That will make wall sliding vastly easier for anybody uh, just you, my sensitivity is all on 30s um, primarily I use a lot more close combat than I use the hit marks I play mostly with the Nasher if your sensitivity is lower it might be a little bit harder to wall bounce but it's a give and take you gotta pick whether you get all higher clear. accuracy with a uh, long range in the Lancer or you get the ability to move faster and adjust your camera angle faster. Next strategy is the wall bounce. Now it's basically as I showed you right here how you can back into a wall or I showed you uh, what you can do as you back into the wall and uh, like in close quarters back into the wall and then go for the shot. Well, this is basically the same concept. In this concept, you are going to basically just hit the wall and come right off of it. Just make yourself harder to hit when the sound doesn't matter. You just want to make yourself harder to hit for a second. And when you come off, you... I mean, personally, I really don't like that method too much. Personally, I'd rather just continuously wall bouncing until I have the right hand. Advantage. And uh, that's actually what we're going to go into right now. Is when do you have the advantage on the wall slide? So I come off, if I slide to the right, my gun is positioned here. Chances are, unless I'm trying to cap some dude at the corner, which is like the worst thing that you could possibly do. I mean, let's coming off and upaying him. Um, chances are you're going to get bodied because he has great coverage in here. And this structure is going to eat 80% of your bullets. So not what you want to do. But when I slide into the right, somebody in the middle is aimed at me. But when I slide in, I am actually aimed here. When I slide into the left, though, or I just filled my vape, I am positioned directly at him. Now, is he positioned directly at me, too? Well, I was over here, so now he actually has to do all of this. Well, I have to do. I fired a little soon. Uh, I have to do that. So, sliding into the left, you have the advantage. Sliding into the right, they have the advantage. So, I mean, you really want to limit your right uh, shot. It's actually when the wall bounce comes in uh, yeah, that's right. more effectively. Next up, we are going to be doing, I forget the name of it, uh, Reflex shots or something. Um, I haven't played this game in a long time. But, uh, okay. So, we want to hit the tree, right? This is great for putting in early damage on a target that you are trying to advance on. Or to try to finish off a fleeing target or just put some damage in them just because that's the best thing that you can do at that point in time. So... We are going to keep our marker here, but as we come off, nice. we're going to be aiming at the tree. As you see, I was able to get a free shot off on that slide. 
Now, it works on any angle. That was a little off. Kinda hard to hit that one. Well, it basically works on any angle. I don't know if this structure is... Shouldn't really be blocking it. I mean, that's basically as hard as you can get on one of these shots. There it is. Okay. See? And that just makes it beautiful. I'm going in for a slide, They'll be but back. I'm hitting the dude they all the way over the here. They don't know who the fuck they're messing with. And now I put damage into him. I can actually come off that wall, put in another one into him. Now I got him at like 30. And now I have a good advantage on the one. Actually, uh, that's perfect time. The game's starting. I've covered everything. Uh, if anybody knows something that I grossly overlooked, uh, any technique, uh, please post, and I'll do another video for that. Got enemy reinforced!